to infrastructure at full cost of the American economy, more than 876,000 jobs, suppressing growth of the, of the country's gross domestic product by $897 billion by 2020, according to a new report released by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Moreover, a report conducted by the Economic Development Research Group of Boston showed that in 2010, deficiencies in America's roads, bridges, and transit systems cost American households and businesses roughly $130 billion, including approximately $97 billion in vehicle operating costs, $32 billion in delays in travel time, and $1.2 billion in safety costs. If investments in surface transportation infrastructure are not made soon, these costs are expected to grow exponentially. Within 10 years, U.S. businesses will pay an added $430 billion in transportation costs, and household incomes will fall by more than $7,000, and U.S. exports will fall by $28 billion per year. The EPA concludes that if investment in infrastructure doesn't increase to address anticipated needs, the funding gap over the next 20 years could grow to $122 billion for every year investment is put off, setting up a systemic and, un and unfixable transportation system. Hey, okay, why is it why is it important that we fix this problem? Because it's just going to grow. It's going to um, make it to a bigger problem later. Like I showed you, uh, it's going to become four hundred thirty billion dollars more in transportation costs if you don't fix it now in ten years. So where where do all the the problems in your case come from? Like you just basically say here's a bunch of numbers, but what is the re like? Where does this come from? Like the like, billions of dollars of problems. Like it's it's just there. It's like the con it's the roads breaking down. It's the congestion. It's the injuries. It's all the like, which roads are breaking down? I, you want me to name a road? Well, I, I want you to, like, <laughs> okay, well, even another question, like, which of these, how much of this is federal? Um, like, right now? Like, why is it, why are these numbers important to me if these are just overall numbers for the entire United States when the vast majority of infrastructure spending is done by the states and the private sector and not by the federal government? I mean, I don't really have a percentage of, like, which one specifically is, like, only, like, conducive for the federal budget. And, like, so then why should we use any of these statistics? I mean, why? Okay, so like basically if you don't improve it now, then like the federal government has a necessity to, to like improve it now, and if, like, if they can, they should. But do they obviously. have a necessity to improve like the road in front of my street, if that's a state road? Like what, like all of, all of the numbers in this contention are for every road in the U.S. Yes. And that might be a problem with it's the way the roads, states though. are. It's not just roads, though. It's on transportation infrastructure. I mean, most, a lot of your contentions come from things like congestion. But it's roads. I said uh, but a lot of there's roads, American like, roads, bridges, and transit systems. So it's not like just roads. Yeah. So like a lot of like half the transit systems in the U.S. are run by states. Like half the bridges, probably even okay, more. Okay. So you can fix the half. Okay. But so you don't have like a specific number as to like know. the federal impact of this. No. So okay. Should I keep going? Please. You have about 15 seconds. Okay. Um. Yeah. So what are the? How are the U.S. businesses going to pay in costs? Like what costs are they going to pay? <laughs> what do you mean, how like, you say $430 billion dollars in costs, like, what are they paying? Uh, like, it's just, like, the congestion on it. Okay. Okay.